What's good? Subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that bell. Today, we're going to be talking about some creations and stuff that I've created over uh, time in dreams. So, um, this is my evolution of outside stuff, and if you've been on my channel for a while, you may have noticed that I've been doing this kind of stuff for a while. Uh, this is the evolution of that, um, and I hope you guys really do enjoy this. Um, get a look at my uh, new leaves. Uh, really proud of these. Um, and, um, and, and the corn and whatnot, and and whatnot. I think what I'm going to do is mask these uh, trees because whenever you get close to uh, trees and stuff, I think I've figured out a way to actually make it to where whenever you're really close, it doesn't do all this, you know. Um, you can mask it with a box where you can only like get up so close or I think what I'll have to do is like do this in individual pieces if that makes sense in one sculpture. Uh, I'm not sure if that makes any sense at all. But um I'm going to try some things and mess around with them. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it once uh, I get the hang of the style for it. But I'm actually happy with this because uh, this is actually turning out really good. I'm sure I could make a gigantic scene with this eventually. It's just that, you know, for what it is right now, I don't think you guys have seen um, a true level design created by me yet. Uh, and I think this right here is like is like the, the, the cusp of that. And uh, that's why I'm really... Um, I'm really excited about this. Other things I want to talk about is that the sun and sky guys are the fog, the range, whatever you want to call it, is actually good for shading. So take a look at this cloud back here. If we go to our, well, my sun and sky gadget, um, and click this, and you can mess with the range right here, but look what it does for shading. It's incredible what you uh, start to notice. And I think uh, you, a lot of people will appreciate that I'm showing them this because it's actually good for the graphics of dreams. So that's what that's doing to the shading of the cloud, the range of the fog range. So mess around with this. You can read it, all that great stuff. Just some stuff you wouldn't think would mess with stuff. Whenever I'm doing lighting, I always turn this off. And that's because um, if you don't turn it off, things like, might start uh, clipping sort of like this sort of if that makes sense uh so you might want to turn off that uh that part of the light gadget whenever you're uh, doing gigantic scenes um what else what else what else um i'm really proud of this um kind of see what all is taking up uh i'm pretty sure i could lower some of this and it still look the same so uh but that's about it um i might do a plant tutorial i might do um all that stuff, but, um, I might not because at the same time, because it, it might, it might take away from it. If I just like throw out some, some stuff like this, it might take away from it, which is why I haven't really thrown that kind of stuff out there. I've thrown like out like basic ways to do this stuff, you know, and, and, and you can do the grass stuff. It won't show you how to like do it in mass like this, but it'll show you how to do it. Like, so I, I haven't like gotten into like how you can like, do it the way I'm doing it right now, but I mean, you can look through my tutorial sculpture list and you'll, 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 you'll get it. Um, I'll show you what it looks like whenever you turn off, uh, whenever you mess with the lights. Um, what's going on? There it is. So whenever you mess with this, you'll see it, uh, Pretty much all looks the same for the most part. Nothing, um, nothing, uh, you know, too off balance. Um, there is one tidbit that I do want to share with you guys about plants. Is I always hit these things with blue lights whenever and make them dark green. Uh, I, I don't know why that helps, but that's that's what I do. Uh, light blue lights around this range and this this you can take from that all you want. What else do I have that I can share? Um, some more grass, some more grass inside of a um, different type of setting. So here is another, this area is like a rough draft of what I have going on over there. But look at this, some really cool stuff that I got going on over here. Some more grass stuff that I was pulling off. And um, here we go with this, real cool stuff. Um, so, I have a whole lot of stuff that I could show you. This is like a showcase. It's like, I don't know what this video is, but I think people are going to appreciate it. It's like, oh, this one's real cool. 
this one's real cool. So if I like get to the right area, this is like this is like um some astounding stuff right here. It's not done yet, but look at this. That's cool. I'm not sure if um like I want it to look more like this, you know. But I, but it, it, but I gotta get it the right. I gotta get the right lighting for it or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I gotta do with that. I, I think if I like look at it here, it'll look right. Might have to throw a light on it. This takes up a lot of uh, like I'm not I, I, like a lot of these plants and stuff. I haven't perfected yet. It's because like you have to do a lot of cloning, and uh, then I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna do that later. As long as I got, like, the basic template down, you know? I'm like, yeah, let's do it later. For the most part. Um, figured out a good way to do rocks. Uh, with rocks, I'll tell you guys how I do these. Just so I don't forget. <laughs> um, with rocks, you could, like, do something like this, you know? Make it really gigantic. I, I like like I always lower this and then set this stuff down. Like a really gigantic, right? Go to the thingy settings. Might want to like not choose something like that. And also go inside and whatnot. You know, for the most part, if you make it gigantic, you, you're like texturing it more. And you can like see how that's all textured over there. All you really got to do is get a basic shape down. And then like probably use a different tool. You probably want to use a tool that like, I mean, honestly, this will probably work. Something like that, you know, pokes out, you know. And do some stuff like this to where it like has this texture right and then you can like downsize it and then you like got a fully texturized rock simple easy do whatever you want and uh, I think that's the best way to do rocks in all honesty um oh yeah follow me young text YouTube here young text on YouTube obviously what else do I have I have a whole bunch of stuff don't I got music got games got art I Oh yeah, my game, Space Jump. Like, I haven't done Logic stuff in like so long, but like, here's a good tip. Like, I still remember how to do this Logic stuff because I have it so organized. So you'd think that I'd forget how to do it, but since I have this organized, I can then go off of memory and then just remember how everything, like, like I know how everything works, it's crazy. That's insane. So that's another reason why you need to stay organized because it'll help you remember whenever you don't do things for a long time. So I like, uh, like I just look at it. And I'm like, oh, so I can jump right back into this just because. Imagine if this wasn't organized, like I didn't have every, like all this stuff telling me what to do, then me having to jump back in here. Um, especially with games, you really want to stay organized like that just for that reason, because it'll help you remember how to do the logic and stuff. Like you, like th that's probably the most important thing whenever you're gonna be making games is staying organized. If you're not gonna stay organized, then you're probably not gonna get it done. Um. Still doing more, uh, more stuff like that. So here's my first, um, thing like this, so this makes sense, uh, and the pebbles and stuff. So my first little layout like this. And since then, like, I've actually, like, like, here, you can see you can go inside of this, but if you're actually gonna make hills and stuff, what I would do is place, and, and I did this... This is actually a really uh, good video, but I don't know if people like listen this far. But I mean, I'm I'm talking 
pretty amazingly. Um, also, I'm gonna have a Last of Us 2 Dreams video just talking about how The Last of Us 2, um, you can learn from it as a dreamer. It's already uploaded, I just haven't released it. Like, I just made it. Uh, not the, Well, actually, I do want to show you guys this. How, how lighting affects everything. It's like, it's cool. Um... Where is this? Where is this at? Where is this at that I'm trying to show you? Is it right here? Is this it? So here's another thing. I, I know what this is. So right here's the other... Like, this is more stuff you can do with that leaf thing that I did. I can do a whole lot of stuff with it. But what I'm trying to show you with the hills... Right now, I'm really small. Making your character really small and really big will change the way everything looks. That's actually really important. More important than you might know. Um, so I'm going to actually show you why that's important. It's probably my most important video. So look at it now. Size it up even more though. You'll see why this is so important. Might need to mess with a uh, hitbox though. Look at my hitbox tutorial. Real important, uh, getting the size of the character to match the scene. But as you can see, underneath the hill is a invisible, uh, or, well, it's a sculpture where you can like kind of mask over it, you know, which is sort of what I was talking about to where you can, it, nothing like that will happen. There's supposed to be one right there. But um, you see how lighting really helps with shading and stuff. So really, really, really cool stuff we're talking about. I'm still working on the perfect tree type. I mean, I really like the ones that I showed you at the beginning of the video. But I still want to get them, like, perfect. This is another leaf type I've been working on. Some mass leaf. Uh, be useful for different types of seeds. Whenever I get to finishing it. I think I want to start, like, working on, like, castles and stuff. I think I'm finally ready for that. From the... So all this stuff, all this stuff, where are we at? All this stuff. For all the oh yeah, I wanted to talk about For all the getting uh, stuff out of your genealogy. I haven't tried this yet, but like, like I made everything in this scene, but whenever I made the clouds, uh, I accidentally like had some like had somebody else's prop whenever I saved it, but I think. And don't quote me on this, I haven't tried it, but I, I think if you um go to your versions and releases and then take this back to an older version, then hopefully it'd take the person out of the credits. If you ever have a problem with uh trying to get somebody the credits, you can try that saving over with a version where you didn't have uh, somebody in the credits. Um, you know, So you always got these versions you can go back to at any time, I do believe. I also want to see what this looks like with uh, super lights. See how cool this scene really is. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell, and peace.